Hi, I am Lucine. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to put together a Cricut Cut Iris card. It's a pretty nifty little mechanism that lets the little iris open up to see your message. Now I'm going to do this from the beginning all the way to the end. So if it gets repetitive and you don't want to watch it, just go ahead and fast forward through all the little pieces that you don't need. All right, let's get started. Here are all the pieces that have already been cut from the Cricut. And here we go. All right. Um, because this card is fairly long, it is made out of three pieces. And I went ahead and just did my base in white. This is not much of the card's going to show anyway. So this is a card that folds in. So I'm going to fold that in. And I'm going to fold that in. This is a gatefold card. making this from scratch it's 10 by 7 which is going to make a 5 by 7 card okay now the two edges now, this actually is optional if you don't want to make the little pull tabs on this this part of the card and doing everything else inside will actually work just fine. You don't need this part at all. I just thought it was pretty nifty. So I'm going to do it. And these just glue, they glue on here to make this going to like this. Now don't glue it inside. And I'll tell you why because the gatefold card closes perfectly. And if you put this on the inside, it's going to add about a third, a little less than a sixteenth of an inch total. And it won't close. So we're going to glue that on top. And I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue on this because I want to have a little bit of time for some wiggle room. So I'm going to use, about the only time I use wet glue is if I need the glue room. And you don't want this to go past the edge because then again it won't close. But it needs to be right on it or it's going to show. Alright, so there we go. Now this is... Uh, Recollections 110 cardstock. It's very heavy, 3GM. 300, sorry, 300. And then this one's going to go right there. So I'm going to put some more wet glue on here. my edges are lined up but not over minutes for that to dry unlike my art glitter brand glue but we'll just set that aside and let it dry while we build all the mats and layers for everything else so I've got the base card and I've got four side panels and then the inside part of the mechanism is going to be these three panels like this All right, so I'm gonna have two of these, two of these, or one of these. All right, now this time I'm gonna use my our glitter glue because I think I can get a mat on there. 
without needing a lot of wiggle time. So I'm going to put that there. Each mat is a quarter inch smaller than the original mat. This is one, two, three, four, and three quarters. This is the bottom and the end. All right. And we got these here. Doesn't take much of art glitter glue. Just takes a little, which is why it doesn't warp. And it probably is also why it dries so really fast. I mean, got that on there, it's dry. If I was making a manipulative card you know, that had movable pieces, I could move them right away. It's a marvelous glue. Makes it for it dry so fast. And you may be wondering why the Pretty side is getting down. Well, I think both sides are pretty, but to decorate this card, I don't want the snowmen would be too much. The snowflakes, however, almost read as solid. So depending on what I decide to decorate it with, it won't interfere. And then the three little, or two, excuse me, little panels that are left here. And then the mechanism. And this folds here in. This folds in. These should line up exactly. And the only other pieces that are left is the inside piece where you put your 
decoration or your message and then your iris which I'm going to ink Actually, I'm going to ink all my white. Actually, I had planned on inking these, but I forgot, so no big deal. All right, and I had my red out because that was a different color. So let me get my turquoise. Oh, this is some turquoise shimmer. Let's see how that looks. All right. Way too much. should have used my water reactive ink. It's not as gooky as that. It's pigment ink and it's a little bit more thicky, thick and unforgiving. All right. So this goes inside. got two panels each of the two different colors and I'm going to put the non-matching colors side by side. It's gonna put flaps this color. If you want to write a message or a note, the back panel will be blank. You can handwrite a greeting in there. And I am not going to mat this because it's actually not ever going to show. This is going to be glued here, and you want it centered, so I'm going to use my my 
my five inches right there. And then I'm going to find my three and a half. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the center right there. Mark it just a little right there so I can put it in the right place. Now, this is going to go just about less than a sixteenth of an inch down from both the top and the bottom, and the white circle goes underneath. And actually, it should have been. A little bit bigger. Huh. Should have made a white. Well, doesn't matter. It's gonna go on this. Alright. This needs to be measured as well. It's going to go right on the far side of the thing. And it needs to match. It needs to be right. to again just a little mark right there where I want that to be and I'm gonna apply it a little heavier here because there's two layers there it makes it a little bit thicker and I've got to be sure now I'm lining that up with the edge there, rather than inside the fold. And this one needs to be lined up exactly even. This one. Well, I'm going to glue that right on the edge of the mat. You can put it up a little bit further. The reason I put it there is because it's already sitting on two layers. If I move it over here, it's setting on three, and it's going to really weaken it. Look at that. That's fine there. Now I'm going to glue this here. You want to make sure that you don't get it. If this is up higher, you can put it. If 
red liner tape would probably be a better choice here. But I'm going to go ahead and just use my glue. Probably should have marked it down here too. I can see right now that that's not really straight or even. How the hell did that happen? is closed there and that opens it close now you just need to glue in your inside message and decorate as desired and it's ready to go hope you enjoyed this bye